Hi, my name is Jayshri Ulal, President and CEO of Arista Networks. And with me today, I'm excited to have our guest, Alvin Sequera, Vice President of Networking and Security at VMware. Welcome, Alvin. Thanks, Jayshri. Um, you and I go back a few years. I know we fought the bridging versus routing wars, <laughs> right. and the TCP, IP, and OSI wars. And uh, well, we know what won there. <laughs> but I think we're very commonly united in the fact that we both have a very passionate belief in virtualization and cloud networking. And to me, what's exciting, congratulations, uh, Alvin, on the tremendous success VMware has had with virtualization, is people look at virtualization in islands today. And yet we know that what's r really transformative is the network foundation. And it needs to change from classical enterprises to a much more elastic, on-time, real-time, and real resilient foundation that has never been seen before. Can you comment on some of the um, issues you've seen with today's constraints and how logical networking is changing the way virtualization is done? So from my perspective, um, uh, it's all about the applications. Uh, uh, I've said that for a while, IaaS, infrastructure service, uh, another way to look at it, it's about applications too, but <laughs> if, uh, if you want to uh, take a different view of it. From that application perspective, what you really need are logical networks. We have come from an era where the networks were first set up. Uh, you built your VLANs, you built your uh, subnets, and uh, you stood up those racks, and then you would bring in uh, the servers and the applications. It's almost like uh, it's the other way uh, around today. At Arista, one of the things we did to, to enable elastic networking is our own software called EOS, Extensible OS. And what we've been able to do is bring that extensible OS to your vCenter and vSphere as an agent and map physical to logical to virtual to cloud boundaries. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how that's been received by your customers and what you think the impact of that could be to the industry? I think uh, f um, what uh, Arista has done in this regard, uh, leveraging some of the programmability that's intrinsic into vCenter and vSphere and being able to map that in a seamless fashion across those, uh, across the different uh, physical or virtual or cloud uh, networks is uh, in fact the kind of innovations we like to uh, see at VMware, and in fact, uh, that's the kind of uh, innovation that uh, says that in fact, uh, uh, networking will transform. In terms of our customers' response to it, uh, uh, to a certain extent, that is exactly what um, uh, our customers are looking for, where the network uh, and um, the underlying um, uh, pinning together, stitching together of what needs to happen, happens under the covers seamlessly and gets taken care of by programmed uh, frameworks like uh, EOS from Arista, for example. So from uh, from our perspective, the uh, the best thing that can be said for a VI admin is that EOS working on top of vCenter programming tools seamlessly orchestrated and programmed that uh, without uh, a manual intervention uh, required. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. You know, I was looking at the study from um, IDC where five years ago, only 20% of the server market was HPC and web applications, and 80% was enterprise. Thanks to the advent of VMware and virtualization, that number has now gone to 50-50. The VM explosion has created 50% to be more HPC and web due to you know, uh, more and more multi-cores from Intel. But the physical servers have clearly reduced to more and more virtual servers uh, with virtual machines. So this combination has presented a real challenge because how do customers manage their physical network? How do they manage their virtual network? How do they man manage their cloud network? Do they have three admins come together? Or do they have one tool like vSphere that can truly transcend all of this? And it's pretty powerful what we're doing here in the industry. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you for being here, Alvin. It's a pleasure to have you. And we look forward to our joint partnership. Thanks, Jayshree. Good as usual. <laughs>